Hi guys, in this tutorial or rather in this series, I am going to build an image gallery with you. The functionality will be to create galleries and then inside the gallery we will be able to upload images. We will have a drag and drop widget through which we can select or drag multiple images and then upload it into the gallery and also we will have a listing of the gallery from which if the user clicks on any particular gallery he will see all the images and open up a bigger version of the image through lightbox we will start with a clean installation of laravel and go step by step so at first i will do the migrations we will create two tables one is for the gallery and the other one is for the images which we are going to upload also we will have to create a basic crud to make the user login so that's also something which we will do all right let's dive in so as first step i'm going to create the migration for the gallery so I will name the migration as create gallery table and herein I will pass argument create equals gallery which is the name of the table hit enter let's go to sublime text and inside database migrations I have a new migration with the basic code ready so what are the different tables which we need or rather what are the different columns which we need in the gallery table I'll need a name so let's say dollar table string name and I'll name I'll need to store the user ID so I'll say table integer created by and then I'll need a flag basically whether the gallery is published or not so it's a table boolean published and that's about it so this is the migration for the gallery table and now let's quickly create the migration for the images table as well so I'll just change a few things here give it as images table name will be images Go to sublime text and we have the new file now for the images what are the different things which you need to store obviously first thing will be the gallery ID so I'll say table integer gallery ID okay after that we will store the file name so table string file name uh, I'll also store the file size so let's say size let's keep it to 10 I'll store the mind type as well just so that if at any point of time I need to check how many JPEGs are there or how many PNGs are there it's up to you if you want you can skip it as well all right after the mind type the very important thing which is the file path I'll remove that and obviously dollar table integer created by
let me make a few configurations. I will use a SQLite database. So, where's my database? Inside database, I'll go and first change the default database to SQLite and then that is file name touch inside storage database.sqlite okay with that in place I think we can run php artisan migrate sqlite browser this is the database so I'll go into browse data and yes I have the gallery table and the images table so the next step is to create the routes and get the basic URLs ready which we will require to handle the entire app okay so let's quickly go back to sublime text and go into our routes file now I'll create a controller called gallery controller so let's first get the routes in place I will need one route which is say gallery slash list I can use gallery controller at the right what say view gallery list okay there will be one URL where we will do the save of the gallery new gallery so save gallery okay this will be a post okay then I will need one get URL where I will show the individual gallery so I will do gallery view and then the ID of the gallery we can do this method as view gallery picks okay and one more post URL which is where the image will be uploaded so I'll say image to upload and the function will be do image upload okay so let me quickly create the controller so it will be inside app http controllers the name will be oh I made a mistake everywhere the Y is missing so this 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 all right this is the name of the controller dot php space will be app slash http class gallery controller extends controller okay and let's quickly create all those methods so one is view list gallery so this is done I'll have save gallery Oops. see I'll pass the request object request, request. third is the view gallery picks so like so and the fourth is where I am actually uploading the image again here I'll pass the request object dollar request now there are a few things which are still pending one is I'll need to make use of illuminate HTTP request so that 
this can be accessed correctly and yeah that's about it I guess all right so these things in place it's time to create our master TPL and create the basic HTML page where we will be creating the forms so to create the master TPL I'll at first create a very basic HTML5 template so inside resources views I'll create master.blade.php this will be set syntax to HTML okay so my gallery app and I'll be using bootstrap so let's make the container and inside that we will yield our content so that will be the place where all the secondary TPLs will come in so I'll do at the rate content so basically every view or sub view which I create will have a section called content so I'll create a second view as well which is say the galleries listing view right so I'll go resources views I'll create a folder called gallery and inside that I'll say gallery dot blade dot php I'll extend master and I'll have a section content end section right inside this I'll have a div row call md12 heading my galleries okay and let's bring it in so I will say return view gallery dot or set gallery right and my URL is gallery slash list go to Chrome it says app HTTP controller not found which means that the controller which we have used is not available so let's quickly go inside this okay my namespace is not correct I guess that's the reason yes now it should work okay now what has happened it says extend master I'm sure this was the correct syntax why didn't it take it uh, oh my mistake I missed the s and that's the reason that's the problem okay so our source code is coming we have the HTML5 markup we have the container inside the container the row column MD and then the my gallery okay so this is the initial starting point in my next tutorial I will show you how we can bring up the basic bootstrap theme which is the material design theme I will use this material design bootstrap this is the theme which I'm going to use it's a very beautiful theme which uses the recent Android's material design and has basically covered all the bootstrap elements right so yeah see you in the next tutorial